a lyrical lashing where insults turn into wordplay. After the strike, you strike again. We go inside the world of battle rap. The acapella sport, the artistry. Fox 5 exclusive with two of the biggest names in the game. One of the biggest and the best battle rappers in the entire culture. Battle Rap with Vada Fly and Showtime SP. Friday on the 5 o'clock news. But if URL is about gang banging, slanging, cracking, banging straps with him, bitch, LA is where it should be stationed at. Yeah. <laughs> you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, I gotta say salute to every single one of y'all. Whether you watch this content, whether religiously or in passing, you just saw the commercial. Friday, it's going down uh, Fox 5 New York. Myself, Showtime SP, we got an interesting conversation with ARP and Big K that you're really not going to want to miss. Well, we learned some things and you, you guys are going to be pretty interested. Salute to everybody who's interested and has been asking the questions because I will say this, without every supporter, every fan, every league, every battle rapper, media, whatever the case may be, this would not be possible, you know what I mean? Because battle rap has always been a subculture for quite some time and we were always looked at as the little cousin, the nephew of hip hop and battle rap as a whole never really got the respect, the admiration and real, you know, big time viewership that it's starting to get now. There was just an article in the New York Times yesterday with No Mercy and a whole bunch of other people. I think Cortez was in the article and it's just helping push battle rap to the next level, you know what I'm saying? So I think there's no one thing without the sum of its parts. And I cannot sit here and act like, you know, it's just me or it's just SP. So I have to say that and I cannot stress it more and more and more and more. I gotta thank everybody who was involved from whether it be the first person to the last person to the camera guy to everyone, you know what I mean? Like it's, it, without you guys, there's no, there's no us, you know what I mean? So I have to say thank you. I appreciate all of the love, support, admiration, even the hate. Trust me, everything counts, you know what I'm saying? Some people always be like, well, why you never say nothing about this person? No, well, well, why you never say nothing about that person? Because keep going up the ladder. They mad, make them matter. In life, what you gotta do is you gotta find ways. Like, you don't wanna turn off people from hate. You know, they're gonna do it anyway. So you might as well always give them something to talk about. When this came out, there were people online that were going crazy. Oh, we gotta get him out of here. We got to, you got them going. I'd be like, dog, I've been here almost seven years. I got my own fan base. But I didn't lose a single subscriber. I didn't lose a single viewer. And I didn't lose a single follower. So that happens, but you gotta, once you see, you know what Jay-Z said? A wise man told me don't argue with fools because people from a distance can't tell who is who. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. So I gotta say salute to every single person that supports this content, to the people that love it, to the people that hate it, to the people that watch it. Everybody, my mom, my family, down, 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 down the line, right? So that's that. So I wanted to talk about a subject today, right? Where is B Dot? connect. It really don't make me no difference. I asked my grandma if Jesus was black and she told me I'm tripping. Meanwhile, the police just shot another nigga up. Like when you think about it, right? So when I when I started doing these like topics and thinking of different subjects. Like I said, I did the uh, K Shine joint. I did another one yesterday with the uh, five reasons that Easy doesn't need to be in gun titles anymore. So we're gonna, we're gonna go to there and it's like, where is B dot? So if you don't know, cause I, I, and I'm gonna speak it from a perspective of the lowest level. I know there's some high, high level people that know B dot, know every single battle he's had, know his whole resume, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I have to go back because his career on URL and just getting to URL was a very interesting one. He did not have the same route as everyone else. Back then it was the proving ground system. And listen, I don't want nobody calling me today, you know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll leave me alone. This is just my personal unpopular opinion. This is just my perspective. And that's just what it is. I don't want nobody calling, yo, but, but it was this and it was that. It was that nigga, it's my motherfucking opinion. I really don't care. And uh, like I said, as far, and also as far as the show, salute to the guests that were on there. Uh, ARP and Big K, you know, we good, we good. Uh, ARP, um, you know, he facilitated it. Me and Big K is cool. He unblocked me. We follow each other now. You never know what happens. So that's another thing. Don't be asking me, well, why this person ain't there? Why that person ain't there? Why you ain't got smack up there? Listen, they all, every single league, they can find me. They can get in contact with me. It's not my job to go finding people and asking people. When, when them people is in position, they don't call me. 
So it's not my job to call anybody or to beg anybody to do anything. It ain't gonna happen. I work for the producers. I don't work for any of these leagues. So that's one thing, because I know y'all gonna come with that bullshit. Find me, I'm not finding y'all. Whoever it may be, I, it's just not gonna happen. I'm the captain now. <laughs> uh, so B Dot didn't take a traditional route to get to URL. You know what I'm saying? He started battling on the West Coast. He was on LA Battleground. Even giving these babies iron like we raising the needs. Catch a bullet head, said he said. Bet you ain't trying to entertain that shit. But in order to dodge these bullets, you will have to Floyd May that shit. You know, TMT. Cause I'll pop up on him out of nowhere, snapping shots like TMZ. Put him in the EMT. Once that Smith make him perish, he gonna need a sermon. EPMD. No! Grounds, you know what I'm saying? LA Battlegrounds was a league. It was a platform, you know what I'm saying? I, I did do my due diligent research and went to their YouTube channel. This channel was able to push and help build some of the careers of some of the biggest artists in the game and they didn't even have 10,000 followers. I looked at their viewership, they only had a million views in total and they had classic battles on there. B-Dot's first real major viral look was versus a kid named Strick on LA Battleground. Neck, I have my man surround your set, and we come from under the tees with all angles, like pop, 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 pop. Give me that surround sound effect. Yeah. Yeah. Missing past the shit by how I kill and shoot. That's pretty cute. But that's what you got for me, Strip. A couple lines about how you pill and shoot. You killing who? It's another identity crisis. You drove down the wrong road and chose the villain route. A white boy in a room full of blacks. I assure you, we a different group for them nine victims. You get nine in your top, have your head smoking. I put chimneys on Dylan Roof, but I guess. Woo! 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 You know what I'm saying? And he went viral for the way that he talked to this dude. It was a white kid, you know what I'm saying? And beat out the way he came into the game. Like a lot of people compared him to Lux, but he was like mythical, typical, critical. He was able to break people down using flows and bars. And the funny thing, Lux wasn't really battling a lot at the time. So that spot, that vacancy for a conscious black man who was going to be pushing the, the, the black African power, pan-African. Somebody was needed. He pushed that limit. Like, that's what he did. So, uh, you know, he comes out, he battles against Strict, and this is seven years ago, 2017, 2017 flow. You know what I'm saying? This is right after that whole class came through with the Mike P's, uh, the Jerry West, the Av, and all of those guys was 2016. The 17-18 flipped to where B-Dot was involved, but B-Dot never wanted to do a proven ground battle because he felt like his resume at the time and what he had done, which could have been respected by a lot, was over the level of a proven ground MC. He had daylight already, he embarrassed him, he with such greatness on other stages for other races like I'm king of the dot you hot you keep it gully and organic why we get the modifications that's what make you so dangerous Guru, the nigga that dressed like a slave but you don't know no history besides that you couldn't have been a pharaoh or Mansa Musa some great African to provide facts and then you left the stage when Rome dressed like Abe I'm like where's your critical thinking with a perfect opportunity to prove that hypocritical Lincoln only free slaves for political reasons this is literal treason a nigga named Daylight but in the darkness is where you find yourself you have an out of Body experiences, you're getting all beside yourself. Last time he had Danny Myers around. Did the research, delved in feet first, read scripts loaded, brought y'all the cliff notes. Right. Planted yeah. seeds in your mind. Right. Even if you don't find what I spit dope, that's fine. I sense the shit, so it's photosynthesis, how sunshine and we get growth. And March, it's only right that we duke it out. Now they go hoot and shout. They go hoot and shout as you jump around this stage and move about. But please don't talk about guns. You got too many daughters and sons to be pulling out. But strict already, he had a bunch of battles that were circulating and making moves. It was actually at a point where they want to beat out on URL so bad. It was like, yo, he was better than a lot of the talent that they were pushing at the time. And he was different. And he was an ambassador of the West Coast. So let's keep it moving. So he battles Strick, Strick goes viral, uh, he battles Danny Myers, he battles Daylight, Daylight goes viral again. They're pushing him, I believe he's managed at the time or consulted. I don't want to, um, like I said, this is just my personal opinion. He's consulted and he's like, you know, in a situation with Debo and Debo's pushing, you know, his career and trying to get him in position and things like that. He finally takes a proven ground battle, but it was on traffic, right? He battled Emerson Kennedy in one of the best 
uh, traffic, PG, vault, whatever the that battle today is a classic if you watch Emerson Kennedy versus B Dot. This is the battle where he had the epic third round. Population. I mean, your fans don't ever say shit. Look, I rock with rock, but even look how they playing taste shit. They got them locked up, caged in. Can't go to no other leagues and get the cheese? That don't make sense. I mean, is he being rewarded, or is it the same trick that got his board in on the slave ship? If you don't know, he went in the third round. He was the first person to really fire shots at URL. From that European invasion, capitalism, they ain't changing. The old masters say you niggas ain't going nowhere. New masters say it only matters on this plantation. This is basic. This is basic. At Smack, at Beasley, he even went, you even took a little angle at Tay Rock. Look at how they playing Tay. Shh. They got locked up, caged in. He can't go to no other leagues and get the paper. They say it don't matter. It, it does only counts in battle rap. But here they say it only counts on this plantation. Like he shook the room. Smack had to stand there in front of B Dot in LA and get admonished, you know what I'm saying? Talking about the leagues, about the chains, about the system, about breaking out, about, you know, uh, he said he, he said they tie to treat B Dot at home. Well, they go over there and they treat me like how you treated Sharon. Like he was saying, he was one of the first ones that was speaking up against whether it was unfair practices, whether it was things that he saw people doing. He said, I had to do this for me and for the, the other guys, like the gyms and other dudes that had lo the Losos, because it was a, at that point, it was Loso. It was B-Dot, and there was a couple of other MCs who were really, really, really established, A Ward 2 at that time, really established outside URL, but they wanted them to go through the same system and process at the time, which was the Proven Ground system, which the Proven Ground system was successful for some years, but towards the end it fizzled out because of a lot of things. And this is, like I said, this is just what I heard. I was around some of this shit, but I don't really know, no, no, because I wasn't hands-on involved. I was just doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? At times, I've been called an opportunist. That's cool. I came in wanting to do my own thing from day one. I never, never, never wanted to be, you know, a worker or under up under somebody. I always wanted to do my own thing, and now we're doing it. So, uh, you know, these guys that came in with established records already, B Dot had already had viral moments, he already battled Daylight, he already battled Danny Myers, and it's LA Battlegrounds who actually laid the foundation for some of these battles to happen. They helped groom careers like Geechee Gotti battled on there, uh, Coffee Brown battled on LA Battlegrounds. A lot of them, a lot of them cats from the West Coast, when they wasn't getting looks on the East Coast and they wasn't on URL, because at the time, a lot of, like, if you wasn't on URL, you wasn't a proven ground rapper, you wasn't in a system, it was very hard to get looks because at the time, YouTube was everything. I never knew or thought that it would get to this point to where now you got leagues that don't release no battles on YouTube. Before, YouTube was the engine, the vessel, and everything. And at the time, LA Battlegrounds was a way to, for people to get seen. Uh, they had the strict battle, and then, you know, BDOT eventually did a proven ground battle, and then he went to the URL. You know what I'm saying? He went to the URL. And he had a pretty serviceable run. Like, B-Dot had a really good run on URL. He had the battle with Saga on the roof. And I'm not going to go through every single B-Dot battle. I'll be here for fucking two hours. And I know y'all probably would watch it, but, you know what I'm saying, the clip of shoot, I got things to do. So, he had the battle on the, um, on the roof with, uh, with Saga that became one of the... The, they, his, his name became Rooftop Dot after that, you know what I mean? He became Rooftop Dot, and everybody wanted to see B-Dot on the roof. It even got to the point where he started going at Beloved, and Lux, you know, Lux did respond in different records and things like that, and I do think, let's just say it like this, I want to fast forward, but I'm going to get back to the point. If I do see B-Dot come back, or if he does come back, I would hope to see it versus Loaded Lux. I, like, I love what Loaded Lux is able to do. Hey, Nikki, get Nikki! Load up, Nikki. So, like, shout out to my girl Nikki Knowledge, man. We actually, I got actually gonna put something out uh, for the Queen of the Ring. I mean, not Queen of the Ring. I'm bugging for the uh, Chrome 23 joint that's coming out. Um, we got something I'ma drop, you know, about the 40 bars and um, Yoshi. But let's get back to it. Um, Nikki, get this to Lux. Get this to Lux, Nikki. Get this to him. I know you can get it to him. Um, I, I said that if he does come back, I would like to see him versus Loaded Lux. The reason why is because you know Loaded Lux. His last battle against Geechee Gotti, like all these legacy battles, big name battles, and put him versus the big name, and a lot of those battles don't turn out good. Us, on the bottom level, at Battle Rap, like on the street level, we want to see a war. We want to see wreck. We want to see 
verbal warfare. We don't want to see you versus Reed Dollars or no big, big ass name like that. No disrespect to any of them. But those battles usually never pan out well. You put Murder Mook versus Reed Dollars, it happens eight years later than it should have. The battle turns to shit. Reed Dollars versus T Rex, not a good battle. Uh, J Mills versus E Ness, not a good battle. I could just name battle after battle after battle where you get these people with these big names. Cassidy versus Arsenal, not a good battle. And I could keep going. This is what I do. So, uh, so I, if B Dot was, if Lux was to come back, I would love to see it versus B Dot. So B Dot got loaded Lux's attention. You know they're going back and forth. He sent shots at Lux. Lux sent shots at him. And B Dot was continuing to do his thing. He had battles on the app, a bunch of them. And I will say some of his notable wins. He had notable wins versus Rum Nitty, The Saga on the Roof, T Top, Homesy the God, Shotgun Shug, DNA, Av, and Kid Chaos. His only two losses on the app was versus Charlie Clips and Chilla Jones. Charlie Clips was one of his last battles on URL, but B Dot was on it of a person who didn't want to um, battle, like do the big stage thing. When quarantine was here, I heard, and it's like I said, all I heard, is that once quarantine ended or COVID quarantine ended and there wasn't no more small rooms and things like that, he really didn't want to um, battle on big stages. He had a big stage battle with JC. He didn't win that one, but that was before the app. That was a strike uh, 2.5 or whatever that shit was. So yeah, he had a, uh, he had a battle with him on a big stage too, but then B Dot to me he always struck me as a solo soldier. Like he had, I'm pretty sure he had an opportunity to join EFB. Nick, if they went and got Av and Jerry West and all these other niggas, B Dot had a chance to join EFB. I'm not believing that, especially when they live right around the corner for Pacoy me right down the street. So I didn't know he had a chance to join them, and he probably didn't. B Dot never seemed to me like a battle rap crew type of person. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? Battle rap crews are what they are, you know what I'm saying? Cool, I spoke about that in the last blog, about the, uh, about the surf situation. Now, I, I don't do, I like battle rap crews, they're okay, but I think people put too much into them. Like, this is not a street gang, you know what I mean? This is not a mafia organization, it's just a bunch of people that hang out every couple weeks. That's just my opinion, let's keep it moving. So, uh, beat I had a good 10 battles that were displayed on the URL app, and in those battles he was eight and two. But then B-Dot just disappeared. Let's go even further. I was doing my research this morning. I went to his Instagram. B-Dot has not posted on Instagram since September of 2022. Now, that might not be a thing to you, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking at it like, <laughs> that's almost 10 months. You know what I'm saying? That's almost 10 months without an Instagram post. B-Dot has completely disappeared off now, off the face of battle rap. On his same Instagram, I scrolled all the way down, there was nothing ever about battle rap. If you did not know him and just crossed him today, you wouldn't even think he was a battle rapper. He's got his music, he's got his shoes, but there's really nothing much about battle rap. Uh, so, for, let's go even further. So, you know, there are fans and there are people asking, yo, where in the world is B-Dot at? What in the hell is going on with him? And then I started to hear rumors about a Burger King commercial, you know what I mean? And it's the Burger King commercial that everybody knows and sees. Whopper, 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 Junior, Double, Triple, Whopper, Flame Grill taste with perfect toppers, I rule this day. Lettuce, mayo, pickle, ketchup, it's okay if I don't want that impossible, or bacon, Whopper, any Whopper my way. You rule your season today. Everybody knows and sees and hears every day, and I started to listen to it. I listened to the words, I listened to how it was going on. And it does sound like him, I'm not gonna lie. And I've heard from, you know, industry, some people on the inside that that is him, and that's what he's moved on to do. And if that is what he's moved on to do and make a commercial move, who am I? I just showed you my commercial at the beginning of this video. So trust me, if that is, I'm not mad at all. I don't care what nobody say. Oh, he's a big guy in the blah, 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 blah. Listen, I don't care about none of that. You, I know he has kids. I believe he has daughters and things like that. Feed your family. So I'm not mad, trust that. I don't care. If it was me, if they would've called me, I would've been doing the same commercial. You better believe it. Listen here. <laughs> if it's a fee, there's me. I'm gonna get paid. So I've always told y'all that I'm a proponent of making money and getting paid. But I'm gonna do what I do at a high level too. So, uh, so the, you know, the rumor has been that B-Dot is, you know, doing commercial voiceovers for Burger King. Now, can I confirm that? Did he tell me that? No. Does it sound like him? Yes. Did I hear it was him? Yes. And you know, that's what it's alluding to. And if that is, Salute to him and everything that he's got going on, but I do think he is another artist that if URL was still in business with, he could help as far as with his battles and what he's able to do 
quell some of the things that's going on because he did two on twos. He was a two on two partner with Gichi Gotti versus A Ward and Loso, which is actually a pretty good battle. You should, if you haven't seen that one, King of the Dot, that's a pretty good battle. Um, but overall, I will say this uh, B Dot, a, a phenomenal MC, still does good music. And I'm sure if he wants to pop back out one day, he can. If he chooses to battle rap again, he can. If not, you know, more success and love and admiration to everything that he's got going on. But I definitely wanted to talk about him, his career, his, you know, upbringing. He did play football in college, you know what I'm saying? He did mention that he played against Reggie Bush and things like that. A lot of his highlights were out there and stuff like that, too. But phenomenal MC, man. I think he was a little ahead of his time because the lyrical content, the things that he was able to bring were phenomenal. And now that that void is here and he's not around, you know, it makes you say, where in the world is B Dot? So salute to every single one of y'all, you know what I'm saying? God bless y'all and I hope y'all have a great day. I'm out of here. Gang, gang, Friday, see y'all Friday. Holla at the squad. What, what?